Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and we've been asked a question and we like questions. This time it's how do we get a custom URL to spare Mazars, i.e. without all the funky numbers at the end? Well, there's lots of ways you can do this and the simplest one is go to Edit Info and you will go into the back end of your page and you go to Basic Information and pick username. Now because we've already changed ours and set it, ours is already listed there but you've got a chance to change yours and let's just do learn more so you can see what they're going to tell you. Why should I register a username? How can I secure the username? I tried to get a username for my page but Facebook said it wasn't eligible. There are certain things that they won't allow you to put in it and varying guidelines. Now um, there's lots and lots of different things here, but essentially get it right first time. If you get it wrong, you spell it wrong, you're stuffed. That's the technical term. No, you really do have a problem. You can only have one username per page. You cannot just have a standard generic name for something. It would need to be flowers in wherever. So wherever you are. Um, I'm in Enfield so it could be Enfield or London Pizza or whatever it is that you think you want. You have 50 characters, you have full full stops. So other than letters, numbers, full full stops, that is what you've got. Don't waste it. Why not tell people who you are and what you do? So if you're a hairdresser, put in in London and put London dot hairdressing and then put your company name at the end if you wish so whatever it is that's where you change it and that's where you set it please don't get it wrong because you're going to be creating a new page then and it makes it a lot easier for people to find you they only have ever have to type now www.fb.com forward slash and then whatever you set your URL at so have fun, enjoy and don't forget to come on the page to share.